everyone, this is Natasha. I wanted to share with you a wedding decoration idea that I wanted to sh uh, show you using a Dollar Tree or Dollar Store, Dollar General um, electronic or electric battery operated votive candle, which has this like mesh glitter uh, sheath underneath. And I embellished it with Wild Docker Crafts flowers and butterflies and flourish, adhesive um, rhinestone flourish, as well as an assortment of stamen. Now this is just an idea. I used a monochromatic two-tone of silver and white because I think it's an elegant combination, but there, um, most of these items are available in various colors which may match your color combination for your wedding if you're doing your wedding yourself. I think these are very pretty and they're elegant and they're not over the top because it's just a minimal number of items on each one. And if you need to make a production line of them, I have a shortcut which I will share with you shortly. So let me show you all of the products that I used. So I started off with this, um, I did pick up this particular um, little um, battery operator votive from Dollar Tree stateside, but I believe they're available online if I can find a source for um, more than one, I'll definitely post that in the description. I started off with a cluster I created in my hands. And the cluster is three of these beautiful large white orchids. And I'll have a full product list in the description as well. And these also come in um, variations of colors, but I thought white would be very, very elegant. Um, you know, it, once I show you what it looks like with the lights off, you'll see that it's very pretty. And then I also use these really cool spiral stamens. And these um, come in an assortment of different colors, but I stuck with the silver white palette. And they come 12 to um, a package, and I just used three. Um, odd numbers are always much more appealing to the eye, to the human eye. So I used three of the orchids, three of the silver spiral stamens, and I used one of the silver bead berry spray, which is right there, tucked in between the flowers, and one of the silver stamen spray clusters. Now the only thing about these clusters is they have a little green leaf underneath. I just pulled it off. It's not glued on. It just slides right off of the uh, stem. And then I had initially thought that I would replace the little white uh, stamens inside each of the uh, large orchids with one of these silver double-headed pearl stamens which come to a package of 180. If you are doing a project like this on your own, I would definitely recommend picking these up. However, I found that I like the little pop of white in, between, in, in each of these. And then to finish it off, I have a bunch of little butterflies in various locations and I used five butterflies and it's a little it's a small white sequin butterflies and I'll get you the new product code because this is from an older uh, packaging and they come in pack of a hundred. So what I started off with is the clear rhinestone flourish and it's the 7 by 12 centimeter adhesive sticker and the way I started off is I peel one edge and adhere it and then peel the paper away so the sticker fall, kind of essentially falls into place. So it's underneath, it's really more like a little guideline. And then I created the cluster freehand in my hands, flipped it over, and added multiple dabs of glue to create the base. Then I cut all of the stems off so you don't see any green, so you're really just seeing the monochromatic white and silver. And then I adhered these stamens just with a little dab of um, hot glue on a cool setting. Because this is plastic and very thin plastic, I didn't want it to burn all the way through, so I didn't want to use the hot setting. Now, the little trick that I was, uh, was uh, had mentioned I'm going to share with you. If you have an assembly line or you only have a hot set glue gun, you can use cellophane strips. You know the these kind of stickers come on, on backing strips. Um, let's see if I have a larger one. For example, like this flourish. Save the backing and you can create all of this on a flat surface and then use double-sided tape to adhere it to um, the little flameless candle. 
And um, another little tip is if you are not doing this for an event where you're making multiples or that's the design that's going to be set, you can also make a sleeve out of that clear acetate so you can swap it out for various uh, times of year or various holidays and just have different decorations for each one for the same flameless candle. And this one has a little battery compartment. So let me turn the light off and I can show you what that looks like. It's not gonna be completely dark, but you'll get the idea. So this one uh, runs through various fiber optic colors and it's really pretty. There's even a really, really nice blue, which I think is coming up next. And it looks like it flickers. You can also add some color stone pebbles in here. So I just think it's really pretty. So let me turn the light back on and turn that off. So there you go. So that's my project for this week. Um, I'm really happy to be back to creating and I thought since wedding season is just starting this might be a nice inspiration for someone. What I'll also do is make sure that this is listed on our new Pinterest board. If you haven't already stopped by I'll include a link in the description below. Uh, we're also asking customers and those who create with um, any of the Wild Orca Crafts products to share the projects they create. Cards, home, uh, you know, layouts, uh, home embellishments, anything that you use the products and we'd love to see that. So feel free to stop by the Facebook uh, page and leave your photo with a link or a link to your blog if you have a blog post. We'd definitely love to see it. If you're already on Pinterest you can always um, hashtag us Wild Orca Crafts and that uh, will let us see all the lovely creations. If you have any questions, please don't forget to ask. You can ask any of the design team members. Stop by the Wild Orca Craft channel if that's not where you're watching this video and check out what the other designers are creating. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.